What's up, everybody? Welcome to BioS3 Raw TV. Let's fix that fucking camera. I'm gonna make that shit square. Right now that we're squared up, listen up, guys. I wanted to make this video because uh, someone point in my life at 46 years old that you have to realize that you're not a kid anymore. You're not young anymore. There's certain things you can and can't do that will impact your health, impact the rest of your life, and you have to be aware of that, right? And it comes with certain like maturity that comes with that because you have to literally stop living in the past and live in the now to be able to have a future. Okay, now what am I talking about? So I was watching one of Nick Trigilli's videos. One of my, <laughs> Nick's my boy. Right? I was talking to him the other day. I think he's doing a fantastic job with what he's doing with this channel. Despite some people not liking it, people don't want to hear the truth, right? They want the truth until they hear the truth about themselves. And then they fucking don't like that. Well, Trigilli's not like that. He's just going to put out the truth. And I think he does it in a tasteful way until you poke at him. And when you poke at him, he fires back and then he gets a little ugly, which let's be real. If you're going to go back and forth and fire shots, you're going to get ugly. He's going to get uglier. It's going to keep getting uglier and uglier. But when he puts these things out, he'll say stuff like, I really respect the person. I really like the person, whatever. And he'll say something and the person still takes, um, you know, takes it the wrong way. And a big thing pops up. Now, I didn't watch the video about Branch Warren. I actually missed that one because I was actually out judging for one of the shows. And I saw the next one as it says, Branch doesn't like my, or Branch can't handle my, my, my video or my comments or whatever the case it was. And I turned it on, and to my surprise, it had really nothing, to, it had to do with Branch, but it really had Ron Harris in it. And I thought that was interesting, so I'm like, Ron Harris, let's see what this guy's up to. I haven't see, really paid attention to him in quite a while, because fucking, why would I? No offense, but I'm not really that impressed with Ron, I, and it doesn't really affect my life. So there's nothing that all interesting going on with Ron, other than he talks to a bunch of pro bodybuilders, but who gives a fuck? I talk to these people anyway, so it's not a big deal. So I'm watching Ron Harris try to defend why it's okay for Branch to be huge, right? Now, Branch at 220, I've met Branch several times, great guy. Um, my thing is Branch is very big. Do I think it's healthy? Look, I'll be honest with you that we look at Rich Piana, we look at these other guys that were too big for too long in a certain age, and it's not good, right? I'm going to leave it at that. But I found it interesting how Ron decided to defend Branch. And I was like, well, why don't we take a look at Ron himself, right? There's somebody, there's, the, there's somebody defending Branch because he's in the same frame of mind. Now, I guarantee you Ron Harris doesn't remember me. I've met him a bunch of times, but I'm not a top pro bodybuilder, so I guarantee he doesn't remember who the fuck I am, probably, or that we even met. He might know me because of certain videos I put up that probably are a little scandalous because before Nick Tragilli was doing scandalous videos, I was doing them fucking five, six years ago. It wasn't the same as Nick. Nick does them a lot better in his own style, but maybe Ron would know me from that. But I look at Ron and I go, okay, Ron and I actually have a lot in common. All right, Ron and I both, neither one of us have the genetics to be pro. Plain and simple. We come from the same area. He's from Massachusetts. I'm from Rhode Island. We used to do the same shows, the New England's up in Boston at the Jane Hon at John Hancock Auditorium. You know, we kind of rolled in the same circles. And, you know, it wasn't a huge community in Rhode Island, but the Massachusetts community rolled over as far as bodybuilding into Rhode Island. So we kind of come from the same area. Um, we both had missing body parts. His was his arms. Mine was my legs. We both pushed the drugs. We both wanted to be pros. We both wanted to be in the industry. Both of us failed to become pro. But then there was a split between kind of the differences of, of Ron and I, right? The similarities, rather. And I said, you know what? I'm injured. I'm 46 years old. There are a lot of people around me that have had bad blood work. And Ron, I don't know. You, you may not know this. I don't know how well people trust you. But some of these pros that you talk to have not just had bad blood work, but have had serious health complications, which is why they're downsizing now. I know this because I talk to them personally and they're actually friends. They're not like talking to me because I'm part of muscular development or whatever, but we're friends. And over time, we're talking decades of years that I've known these people. I've heard their stories. They've told them to me in confidence and I'll never explain who it is. I'll never let out who has told me these things and I'll take it to my grave. But the whole point is the people that you're discussing, you know, today it just happens to be Branch on this one, but the people that you're talking about, like bodybuilders, if they're, they're, if they're healthy, then why does it matter if you downsize? They've had issues and you just don't know it. Maybe Branch doesn't have them. Maybe he has and he wasn't being honest with you. Who the fuck knows? But plain and simple, these people have had issues and dropped the body weight. Now, I want to, um, you know, first of all, put it out there like this. Like, Ron decided that he wants to continue to keep doing what he does. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to, it's not putting him on blast. I'm just telling the truth. Ron, I looked at your pictures on Instagram and you look just as good as you did when you were competing. Now I'm 46 and you're older than I am. You have got to be using the same amount of fucking drugs and shit, doing the same amount of food, all the same shit that you were doing before, you have to be doing now, okay? Because if that's a fact that I cut all this out and I'm a lot healthier now, then you were using way too much shit before because you pretty much look the same. There's no way that you're going to fucking stop taking a bunch of shit and be healthier and pretty much look the fucking same. So I don't want to hear none of the bullshit about like I only use TRT. Fuck that. I don't buy it one fucking bit. 
If you were on just TRT, you'd look completely different than you do right now. So I don't want to hear that shit. So there's a picture of Ron nine years ago. And then there's pictures of him now. And he barely looks any different. You can see that he's aging, okay? But you can still tell that he's fucking pushing it. So of course Ron is going to stick up for Branch because Ron doesn't want to lose what he has. In his head, despite not being pro, doing the things that he does and looking the way he does, he thinks he's still back in fucking 15 years ago pushing the fucking limits thinking I'm healthy because I got blood work done and the blood work and the doctor says I'm okay, right? So here we are 10 years later, a decade later, and he still looks the same, doing the same fucking shit. Look, I, far be it from me, do whatever the fuck you want, but I'm going to give Ron, Nick, and everybody else a little bit of insight that nobody's talking about during these other videos, okay? And this is something that, this is usually how my videos work. I have a different point of view, but I come from a different area of, I guess, trying to figure these things out and digging and researching and I got a different view on it. Now check this out, Ron, pay attention. If you're going to the doctor and you're getting your blood work done and your doctor's telling you, hey, you're good to go, you're all healthy. Let me tell you, you may very well be fucked because you're okay until you're not okay. Now, what does that mean? Everything can be fine until finally that blood work is fucked up or you have a heart attack or something happens. And all of a sudden it's like, I don't understand. I was completely healthy, all my blood work. Doctors don't understand what you are doing. Doctors, no matter how long you've been going to that doctor, no matter how much information you give to him, they don't fucking understand what you're doing to your body. And they're going to run tests that are regular tests that don't pick up the things that are fucked up that you're doing to your body. Now, case in point, I've had many clients, and including my wife, that my wife had adrenal fatigue, which some people will say not, not real. Fuck you. It's 100% real thing. I don't give a shit what anybody says. From her work, and she had several people that were at her work due to the shifts that they they pull in the fucking intensity of what they do doing open heart surgery and heart transplants and emergencies like that. They had multiple people had this, this type of um, adrenal fatigue, but I've had clients also that have gone to doctors, you know, they've had issues, issues, issues. They're going to doctors and the doctor's like, your blood works good. Your blood pressure is fine. You're good. Come back in six months, but they're still having issues. My wife went through the same exact process with the adrenal fatigue to blood test after blood test, heart scans, everything, you name it, fucking everything. Right. And they were like, you're fine. Just stop exercising. Exercise less. They told her to stop exercising, even though she wasn't totally fucking crushing herself in the gym like a contest prep. What doctor tells you to stop exercising? Because they didn't have an answer. All the blood work, everything kept normal, normal, normal. It took her going to Titan Medical. This is a little plug for Titan Medical. Where they ran a different metabolic panel because Titan understood what's going on with bodybuilders. They ran a different metabolic panel and found out what the fuck was wrong with my wife like that. First try. They changed some things in my wife's diet as well as gave her certain hormones that were her body as she was aging was changing. Instantly, within days, she felt better. Her blood work went back to normal with these new markers that the regular doctor couldn't even find. They wouldn't even do it. Matter of fact, this is another interesting thing. People talk about blood work and this and that. In Maryland, you cannot have your T3 tested. No matter what you want, they will not test your T3. The TSH, yeah, thyroid stimulating hormone, they'll test that. But your T3, they will not test. My ex-girlfriend wanted to have it tested after a show one time just to see where it was. The doctor wouldn't do it. She took the form and checked it off herself. When she brought it into LabCorp for the blood work, they called the doctor and said, we want to make sure that you want this done. He said, no, don't do it. She had to go to Virginia to get her blood work done for the T3 because they wouldn't do it there. So you can get blood work done all you want. If they're not looking for the right things that bodybuilders fuck themselves up with and not the average person... You don't find them. You get a clean bill of health. They hand you your fucking blood work. They do a fucking scan and say you're fine. They don't always know what to look for. And they sure as fuck don't understand what we're doing with the drugs. They don't understand fucking any of it. So there's a, a lot of disconnect from these bodybuilders. I think they go to a regular doctor and get blood work done. Go to a doctor. Go to a physician or somebody that really deals with bodybuilders. Not athletes. Bodybuilders. Right? Somebody that knows what the fuck's going on like the anabolic doc. Go to him. Get your blood work and shit done with him and see what he has to say about it. Because I guarantee he's going to say something totally different than your fucking doctor. Even if your blood work comes back normal, I guarantee you he's going to have other panels that he can draw that will show shit that the regular blood work doesn't fucking show. So here you have these bodybuilders that like to run out there and I got my blood work done. What did it show? Nothing. I'm totally fine. How the fuck can you be totally fine at 50 fucking years old, blasting a bunch of fucking gear, shoving a shitload of ton of your fucking food in your mouth like you physically look like exactly the same as you did 10 years ago? doing the same shit, and you think that these drugs that have fucking <laughs> fucked people up, some of the most genetic freaks have been fucked up by these drugs over time, and you're telling me that people like Ron have completely clean bill of health, and they don't give a fuck. 
Well, we know for a fact, the heavier you are as you get older, the less it increases your mortality, the more you're likely to fucking die early, period. Science proves that, not bodybuilding. What do you think, because you're fucking blasting steroids your whole fucking life, that that changes something? Like it's not, it's not fat. You know, I'm not fat, so I'm not one of those people. I was blasting steroids, so it's all muscle. So because it's all muscle, I'm fine. Have you noticed how many people are fucking dropping around us? Have you noticed the fucking age? Have you noticed the things in common that they had, which is they were still blasting a whole bunch of shit when they fucking died? Like, I don't think that people are getting it, right? There's like this definitely common denominator that these motherfuckers that have been passing away are too fucking big past 40 and 45 years old. Like, it's very consistent. And the problem is there are people like Ron, who's over 40, 45 years old, that are living in denial because they say, well, if that's fucking killing those people, then I have to stop. And that means Ron would have to chill his shit and go back to being a fucking mere mortal like everybody else and not doing the shit that he's doing to look the way he does. And don't give me this shit about how he's not doing it anymore because why the fuck would anybody take all that shit to look like they did before when they can look the same way right now without taking fucking any of it and just doing a CC a test a week? Why did they take all of it back then? Why did Ronnie Coleman continue blasting fucking gear winning the Olympias when he could just stop taking it all and look the same when he came off? These guys make me fucking laugh when they talk about, well, I haven't been taking that much, I'm off bullshit. If you look the way you did fucking 10 years ago, you're still taking the same amount or you wouldn't look that way. Stop fucking lying. Like it drives me fucking nuts. You know, and here I see Ron, like no offense, but let's be real. Ron's, I don't see him putting out stuff about his blood work and this and that. Go to Titan, get a fucking blood panel drawn, right? Get the blood panel drawn and see what the fuck is going on out there or go to one of these other companies, whatever, that fucking have these blood panels that are not a regular doctor blood panel. Come back and tell me what they say, right? Come back and show me what the fuck they say. Like, I can't wrap my head around as long as the doctor says you're okay. My doctor used to prescribe me fucking Oxycontin. My doctor used to give me fucking all kinds of drugs that I didn't fucking need. But trust the doctor's word. I've seen more doctors not know what the fuck is going on because they're running from patient to patient to patient to patient. They're not really concentrating on one patient because they got so many patients they're dealing with. Because let's, let's be real, it's a fucking business. That they're in and out unless something pops up on that fucking blood work, which you're not even looking at the right things to begin with. They don't fucking have a concept. There are people that have fucking cancer that are fucking going and getting regular blood work, having heart scans, but not getting the PET scans. And next thing you fucking know, they're like, oh shit, I didn't know I had this fucking aggressive cancer. Well, you weren't getting the right scan to figure it out. Now, if you're really worried about cancer, you get a PET scan every year, right? And that'll show you what the fuck is going on, right? But if you don't get the scan, you don't know what's there. Just like this stuff. If you don't do the right test, you don't know what the fuck's really going on. These motherfuckers are walking around thinking they're fine. And all of a sudden they have issues like colitis. What the fuck? So these guys have had serious colitis, have heart, heart problems, have fucking kidneys falling out left and right. But all these guys had proper blood work done, right? And all of a sudden, they just fucking went haywire. All of a sudden, nobody saw anything coming. That's the problem. I think everybody wants, you know, even Boston Lloyd. Boston Lloyd was having fucking normal blood work until all of a sudden he was fucked up. You're trying to tell me nobody saw that coming? You're trying to tell me that fucking there was no bad blood work with Boston Lloyd until like six months before he died, right? Or a year before he fucking died? Yeah, of course there was fucked up blood work, but they rationalize it. They blow it off. They say, well, I'm a bodybuilder and my reading should be different. I have an enlarged heart, but that's because I'm a bodybuilder. You still have an enlarged heart, motherfucker. Like, I don't understand. Well, it's normal. It's normal, but it doesn't mean it's healthy. It doesn't mean it's good. And if you downsize 20, 30 pounds of muscle, guess what? Your heart size comes down with that, right? So by keeping that muscle on you, you're keeping your heart enlarged because it is normal to carry that much muscle on an enlarged heart. But just because that's normal doesn't mean it's fucking healthy or good. And I can't wrap my head around this. And I'm like, I know it's it's body dysmorphia. I understand it's bigorexia. I understand that Ron, I guarantee you right now, Ron, his mindset, and I guarantee fucking to you is, if I stop doing this, I'll feel like less than myself. I won't feel myself. I want to be this big ripped jack guy, which nobody gives a fuck, Ron. There's nobody out there saying Ron Harris is my fucking inspiration to be fucking gigantic. They're like, I like the way he writes. He's got a good personality. He's funny, but they don't give a fuck about your physique. They really don't. So if you downsize in your head, you're like, oh, fuck, people won't follow me anymore. That's the same thing that Rich Piana said to me. He said it to my face about two weeks before he fucking died. We are in Vegas, and he was down to 265. I said, you look good, man. He's like, yeah, man, I just feel like I'm going to go back up again because, you know, if I'm not that mutant, people are not going to follow. People are not going to watch, right? So he had it in his head. If he didn't downsize, he couldn't fucking keep his followers. And he died two weeks later. We had that conversation. And now I look at Ron, and I'm like, are you doing this for yourself? Like, do you really want to fucking push yourself like that? Is this what you really want to do? Because you're like, I need to look like this. In that case, why? Why do you need to look like that still? You proved everything you could, right? You continue putting these drugs in your body, which we know deteriorate your body, especially at that age. And you take a chance. All for what? 
for Instagram, for people that you think give a shit, they don't give a fuck. As long as you keep writing the articles, you keep doing your fucking, your whatever, the videos or, or uh, Zooms or whatever the fuck you're doing, and you still have the same sense of humor, nobody gives a fuck if you're carrying 20, 30 pounds less of muscle. They don't give a fuck. So instead, it's more of the mindset of, well, I have to do this because without it, I don't feel like myself. I'm not myself. Well, then who are you? Are you your physique or are you that other person that is more than their fucking physique? That is the question, right? Because you're a great writer. You're an intelligent guy, right? You got a lot of friends. You know everybody in the industry. I mean, you're pretty much you're fucking at the top of your game right now. Why do you feel like you need to push the drugs and keep your body weight up at this age, which can bite you in the ass despite you thinking you have good blood work because you're not getting the fucking right panels done, right? So I just sit back and I'm like, this is a problem. This is one of the problems in our industry. It is body dysmorphia. It is bigorexia. It is connecting your physique to your worth, right? If I don't have this physique, I'm not worth anything. Fuck, Ron, you ain't competing in bodybuilding. You're not winning fucking shows. You have any sponsors that require you to be in fucking shape like that. Like, what the fuck? What is, I don't, you know, it's, it's just people mentally can't get past the fact that this is not good for me and I should do this. And they come up with this, these excuses, right? They completely, they, they come up with this narrative, right? And they rationalize I can do this because, because, because. And I'm like, that's how Rich Piana got bit in the ass. That's how C.T. Fletcher got bit in the ass and had to have a fucking heart transplant. That's how fucking Cedric McMillan got bit in the ass. Let's be real. That dude, after he had fucking COVID, pushed his fucking body weight up because he wanted to keep competing, right? He was going to figure it out that he was going to retire after the year that he actually wound up dying. But pushing that body weight up didn't help his fucking circumstances, right? Being that age, pushing that body weight, right? It's the same fucking story all the time. And I think Tregilli was actually looking out for Branch because Branch packs on a lot of muscle. And although he may have some good blood work now, right, it's good until it's not. And when it's not, sometimes it can't be fucking fixed. And what you're doing is doing it to yourself with the shit that we're doing. Now, I do understand that Branch probably isn't going to go everything old cold turkey. I think that's a bad idea, too. Like, slowly downsize a little bit at a time. And we've seen Jay Cutler slowly downsize. We've seen Ronnie Coleman slowly downsize. Kevin Lavroni just drops it and goes away. We've seen Dexter Jackson downsize. We've seen everybody kind of downsize that is leaving the sport and not competing anymore. And I think that Branch is just doing it his own way. Now, far be it for me to judge Branch. I think he looks great either way. Do I think he should carry that body weight? It's up to him. I mean, Branch is a smart guy. He knows the risks. He knows his age. It's up to him and, and what he wants to do. But at the same time, I don't think that Ron Harris should be defending Branch when he's doing the same fucking thing. I mean, you know, Ron is wrapped up in the same mindset, but I think Ron is further, further gone than Branch is, to be honest with you, because <laughs> Ron really didn't need a physique to do anything. He could slim down, be really fit, look fucking amazing, right? Have way better fucking health, right? I mean, Ron's face is always like pink, purple, fucking... I mean, he never looks that healthy ever, despite... I mean, he probably has good blood work, and that's what he'll throw in everybody's faces, or the doctor hit him in the knee with a little hammer, and he had a reflex, so all of a sudden he's fucking healthy. Like, I get it. But these guys are pushing the envelope, and they wind up paying the price. And I think it's pretty shitty that they're out there trying to rationalize to the general public that I can do this because it's not the same as the other person. I can do this because it's what I want to do. That's totally fine. But be honest. People like Ron, be honest. I'm doing something that is not healthy for the average person. I'm doing something that is probably not healthy for me. I'm doing something that is probably taking years off my life right now because I am fucked up in the head and feel like I need to have this physique for you guys because you guys won't follow me if I don't have it because I don't believe enough in myself. I don't think I'm worth the same. I'm in it for the fucking bodybuilding aspect. And even though I know everything about bodybuilding, I'm like a fucking encyclopedia, I still have to have this physique or you guys won't care about me. Like, that's where the mindset is at. And that's the truth. Whether people want to believe it or not, I don't give a fuck. But this is what's happening. I see it all the time. I went through it myself. I watch Rich Piana go through it and die. I have seen it up close and personal, and that's what's happening. So, in closing, guys, like, I don't think we should fuck with Ron. I don't think we should fuck with Branch. None of us are stupid anymore, right? In 2022, we know, all of us fucking know, over 40 years old, keep doing the drugs, holding the mask, bad things happen, period. There's no denying it. You can live in fucking denial all you want, but there's no denying it. The truth is, that's a bad road to go down, and we've seen it over and over again. Now, you can rationalize it and live in denial all you want, but the bottom line is, when it happens to you, that's when it's a big deal, right? When it happens to someone else, like it's a fluke, it's all this other stuff. When it happens to you, holy shit. Well, don't let it happen to you. Biosetring at gmail.com. Leave comments down below, but don't fight. Dot com is a blog. So don't let it happen to you, bicep. Ron, no offense, buddy. And we are out.